Hey, hey guys, good morning. It is Monday the 15th. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Now it's time for Latte Fashion, bringing you all the fashion happenings that happened over the weekend and into today. So starting us off, Dakota Fanning ditches the blonde at the star took to Instagram to show off her new do. She captioned the photo, quote, well, look who turned into a brunette. You guys, I really like this. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great change for the star and makes her look like, you know, a little bit older, but in a really good way. I wonder if her sister approves. And Oprah Winfrey graces the pages of Harper's Bazaar. Now, Oprah couldn't be more gorgeous and more successful to be honest, but she covers the pages of the November issue of the magazine. Now, Oprah was shot by Terry Richardson. We have talked about Terry Richardson. He is one of those photogs who is famous for photographing people like Lady Gaga. Wild, wild photo shoots. So to see Oprah Winfrey paired up with Terry Richardson, this is new, but I have to say it's great. She looks gorgeous. It's not too out of her comfort zone, but it's a little bit different. And speaking of the glossies, Miranda Kerr goes blonde in the October issue of Vogue. Australia. Now the star has these short blonde sassy locks. I mean, we're talking bleach blonde. She's got intense eye makeup and she's wearing a little black dress in one of the photos, but actually in one picture, she's even wearing no pants, literally no pants. Now I think we can be pretty sure that this hair color is fake and it's probably just a wig, but it still looks great nonetheless. I mean, it's Miranda Kerr. She can probably do whatever hair color she likes. And Brad Pitt for Chanel number five. The ad is here. Get excited. Now, wow, we all knew he was sexy, but who knew that he could make a perfume ad look so good? I mean, underwear and David Beckham, that's a no brainer. Of course, that's going to be sexy, but Brad makes a scent look extra good. Now it's just him talking to Chanel number five and it, the ending is super sultry saying quote wherever I go there you are now can't quite do it as sexy as Brad but you guys will just have to peep the ad for all of that gloriousness to make your Monday even better and Lauren Conrad talks beauty in an exclusive interview with people the star talks about her biggest beauty mistake and you'll never guess what it is I didn't it's roll on body glitter Lauren told people she used to put it on before soccer matches. I mean, I can't lie, I was guilty. I took that thing and I went like under my eyes and I every, kind of everywhere. I probably was wearing it with glitter eyeliner. So I'm right there with you, Lauren Conrad. Now, another thing that we never thought that Lauren strayed away from was her beautiful hair, her natural color. But apparently at one point she rocked a fire engine red hue that she did herself. Ugh. I love to see photos of that one. And Rihanna's Vogue cover is finally out, guys. She looks stunning. She's rocking that pixie cut and actually a really girly red dress. Now, that's not something we usually see from the star. It almost looks at first glance with a red dress, red lip. I thought it was kind of like Taylor Swift. But I mean, this red dress, red lip on Riri gives a totally different vibe. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And last but not least, Kendall and Kylie Jenner are set to have a clothing line. It's about time they've got a jewelry line. They are cover girls. They are all up in the fashion business, but Women's Wear Daily is reporting that the two have signed on with Majestic Mills to create their very own teen line. It'll be t-shirts, pants, shorts, and accessories, and that is super exciting. Now, there's not much more in the way of details as of yet, but this is going to be great. I mean, there's already the Kardashian collection, so it's about time that the Jenners come out with theirs. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you Monday. We will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Guys, what to wear? Confused? Should you wear the shirt? Should you wear the dress? Who knows? For all the answers, make sure you subscribe to Clever Style. Click the button. You won't regret it.